What is up everyone, welcome back to our lawn and today I wanna to talk about what does it mean when you see all these videos about top dressing your yard, leveling your yard, doing that type of work in your yard and what it means and what you can expect and kinda of how you should approach whether or not you should do that type of project in your yard. So, it's a little windy so I apologize for that but we're gonna go outside, I'm gonna talk about how I'm going to demonstrate what it means and then I'll show you uh, the impact as I mow my lawn right now. So we're bringing you back here to my putting green project which has been top dressed uh, four times this year with sand. Um, bringing in sand, leveling it off, uh, letting the grass grow back up through, then sanding it again, letting the grow, grass grow back up through and going through that process. And then beyond it, um, actually some of that area has had dirt brought in and been top dressed and leveled off. But what I'm gonna show you is kind of what to expect with uh, top dressing and what type of results you're going to get and what I think most of the lawn care community means when we say level. So behind me then what you're gonna see is I come through this area here, the mower is gonna be kind of bouncing and jumping all over the place. And then when I get onto the putting green, you'll see the handlebar just go quiet as it just goes smoothly over completely flat ground. And that's kind of the result that you're getting um, and you can, I can kind of illustrate that here and then we can talk a little bit about whether that's something that's valuable to you or not. So there you go, that is the what on what you can expect to get when you're going to make a decision to top dress your lawn. Um, there's plenty of other content out there on the how, if you wanna look up how to go about doing it, what sand to get, what dirt to get, et cetera, et cetera, et cetera. What I wanna focus on is why you wanna do it at all. So it's going to be, you have to ask yourself some questions, is how low do you wanna cut your yard? Um, again, the lower you go, the more effort it's going to take to maintain a nice yard. The taller it is, the easier it is to manage and maintain. And if you're keeping it at three, three and a half, four, four and a half inches tall, this probably isn't worth your time. Um, unless you have areas that are so, you know, massive holes that you want to just fill in with little bits of dirt here and there, or it's so, you know, bumpy in a section that you're scalping. Basically, it's a matter of at the height you're cutting, are you having sections of your yard that are scalping, that the blades are getting down at or near the dirt? That's going to be bad for your lawn. It's going to kill off those sections. So really, maybe it's even the simplest thing of going through your yard, going to the places where you have scalping issues and just getting either bags of dirt or bags of sand, however you wanna go about it, and just fixing those couple areas and you're gonna be done and good. Um, really, the only reason why you'd want to go any further than that is if you are going to be real mowing at, you know, say three quarter of an inch, half inch, any less than that even, where everything needs to be perfectly smooth or it's gonna scalp just because of how short you're cutting the grass, or you just want to for the sake of the fun of it. Um, but understand that if you're going to make that decision, you're gonna be spending a fair amount of money on either dirt or sand, and you're gonna be spending a ton of your time and your effort, both in the actual act of bringing the sand in, getting it spread out, getting everything leveled off, as well as the effort that it's going to take you to recover your yard through that top dress, because you're going to be um, smothering out and killing off some sections with whatever material you put on top. So you're either gonna have to seed it, uh, be watering the section that you uh, top dress to bring it all back to life. So just understand that if you're going to make that decision, unless you have scalping issues, you're doing it purely for vanity. You're not doing it for any real value of your yard or your grass uh, beyond you know, just the vanity and satisfaction of knowing that you did it and not having the mower bounce around so much. Um, so that's really kind of the point I wanted to make. Just a quick uh, illustration kind of of the impact of top dressing your yard as well as try to give a quick discussion on whether or not I believe it is something that you should do or maybe how you go about making the decision of whether or not that's a project that you want to tackle in your yard. So that's all I have for this video. Thank you so much for watching. If you have questions, you wanna talk about anything, please, please leave that in the comments below. Subscribe to the channel if you like the content, like the video if you liked it, dislike it if you didn't like it, and we'll see you in the next one.